High school students are showing their support in the wake of the death of a three-year-old child. Last week, we told you about the death of a three-year-old in Toma. The child died from alleged child abuse, according to investigators. Students at Toma High School decided to show their support for the family by turning Toma blue. News 8's Jordan Fremstad has the story. There's something about small towns that need no explanation to understand the feeling of home. Everyone knows everyone, basically. It's a place that brings everyone back in one way or another. You're one big family. In Tomo, Wisconsin, there is a school where students want to make their home welcome for everyone. <laughs> we try to sit next to like different people every day. I need a phone. Amy King teaches English and leadership at Toma High School. Every year I encourage my students to take on some sort of a project. She wants students to understand the power a small town family can have when a moment comes. On May 3rd. 1009 Jody Circle for a three-year-old male not breathing. KHA 782, 1756. A community was shaken. A Toma man is facing charges for the death of a three-year-old child. We can come together in a time like this. King's students went to work. We had such a good turnout. They kind of took the bull by the horn. Turning the community blue. Blue is the color for child abuse awareness. In memory of Kyson Rice. I think it's awesome when our community and our school can come together. On the day of Kyson's funeral. We're a little bit too wide. Hundreds of students wore their support to school to show one family the true meaning of community. Together, we can do anything. We have banks with signs downtown that say, turn Toma blue. Just driving to school this morning, seeing kids on their bikes wearing the color blue is just, it's crazy to see how it can spread so fast in three days. Take a picture of her, of the leadership class for me. It's a memory these young adults will always have, along with the knowledge on how to keep a community family strong. In Toma, this is Jordan Fremstead, News 8. Teachers at Toma High School say the family of Kyson was truly grateful for the students' support. Several of Toma's sports teams are also wearing blue to spread awareness to other communities as well.